you are interested in seeing how many people actually play on the classic era servers in 2023. In this video we're going to go over how many guilds and pugs are running every week so you can get an idea of the player base in classic era. Whether this is casual, semi hardcore or full speedrun experiences, they will be covered in this video. Perhaps you are a busy person and do not have time to raid on the normal raid days like Wednesday or Sunday evening. I'm here to tell you you can raid on any day you want. Let's start with Alliance and then do Horde after on Firemark. Let's start with leveling guilds, they are everywhere. While they struggle getting a raid group together, they do try and if it does not work out, they do 20 mans first. If you are more up for a casual experience, go for that. Just ask in world chat, hey, is there a leveling guild around? Now let's cover the player base of guilds that are actually raiding. Active. I have covered them in a previous video of mine when I started making YouTube videos. I did a few raids with them and they were great. A friend of mine, Elias, was leading the guild and I even remember helping them out a bit with some frozen runes I had left so they could get their frost resist early. This together with some tips of mine and the hard work of the guild got them a full next clear. This was after I had to take a break from ERA to prepare for Season of Mastery coming out. Fresh classic. I was proud of that and happy for my friend Elias and his guild as he used to be in my classic GDKP raids. When I joined Active for a few weeks to relive the classic era service, I helped out raid leading their necks on other wings when Elias was busy in the run. Since then though, Elias has quit around 5 months ago and a person called Kaklok has taken over. The guild has gotten really hardcore with a lot of requirements and speedy runs. If this is what you're into, Active might be a good fit. While I remember fond memories of Active before, if I fast forward to now, I'm not sure how leadership is during this time. I tried talking to Garklok, the leader, to try to organize a partnership of war bosses, as I enjoy them very much. Perhaps we will kill them together soon. Active has been there since the start of era and deserves the respect of the server. I hope Elias will be back soon, as it was a great rating with him. Their rating days are Thursday at 7 and Sunday at 7. Now on to other guilds. Guild called Copium. It is a Scandinavian social guild that is trying to start up raiding all contents. So if playing with a casual player base is more your speed, this can be a good fit on Classic Era. Next is the Dungeon Delvers. They raid AQ40, Blackwing Lair and Molten Core on Thursday and next Ramas on Sunday. Not sure on the time, it was not listed in the era discord, I would assume in the evening. If you're looking for a less hardcore experience, then this might be a better fit than active as they do world bosses together at the moment. Casual, no meta, fun club. The player base of this guild does not require any world buffs. Total social guild with doing 20 man rating. If you do not like getting world buffs and want the slower pace rates, this can be great for you on the classic era service. Next up is Sulfurus. This is the best guild next to Active on the Lion side in Classic Era. The leadership of this guild is very communicative. They do work together on world bosses with the Active guild and host some pugs I will later go into. Players of them have joined my runs and I can only think of fun things to say. This would be my top pick at this time of recording the video. They are also true OGs, just like Active, and raid Monday AQ40, Thursday Next Ramas, and Sunday Blackwing Lair and Molten Core, so they clear all the content weekly. Now, Threat Control. Progressing Guild wanting to go into AQ40 very soon. They raid Wednesday and Sunday from around 7 to 11. Then we have Omni. Raid days are Thursday and Sunday from 8 to 11 server time. Loot Council, they are currently progressing into BVL. Core Guild, they raid from MC to Nax. Could not see the times on the error Discord. 240 man raids a week. This was it on Alliance side worth mentioning. Moving on to the player base of Pugs on Classic Era Alliance, I will go over Horde after. Just a Pug. They have been hosting software surf pugs for a while and recently got into doing GDKP also, as it's gotten more popular with me hosting a ton of them. Mostly Sulfurus Raiders are hosting these, also some of Active. Sulfur surf times are AQ40 Saturday at 9, next Ramas on Tuesday at 7. That's for the Sulfur surf runs, so gold rates from them are on Wednesday BVMC at 7, AQ40 at 9.30, also on Wednesday, and Friday at 8 they have next GDKP the same time as me. Next up is M&M's GDKP raids, they only host GDKP GKP and have since Season of Mastery when I was hosting too. Since then they have moved over to ERA and still do a few raids there. On Monday they host Nax at 8, on Wednesday at 8 they do 8k40 BVL binding run and on Saturday they do Nax at 2045. Some of them and even the leader himself has since been in my runs and they are very knowledgeable about the game. Keep in mind these are all pugs so the rating time might change. This info is accurate at the time of recording. There's also Angel GDKPs. He used to host back on Firemall TBC like me and people joined both of our runs. He has recently started on Classic Era just like me with hosting BVL MC every Wednesday evening. Now on to Johannes Pugs. 
Pog, Pog, Pog. Right now we are hosting the current times on Classic Era and may expand when there will be a bigger player base. Wednesday at 8 we do a Sulfur Surf VVMC, 1930 invites, 1945 no-shows are replaced and we fly out. Trying to get a Sulfur Surf core together, if there's enough demand we will also do AQ40 and Nax with them. Rest are GDKB rates, which are gold rates. I host it as it is the most popular right now. I'm the only one that hosts Saturday or Sunday afternoon raids on Era, so a lot join in on the fun from all the guilds. Friday at 8 is Nax Ramas. Saturday at 12 is AQ40 Blackwing Lair with Binding Run. And you can swap a character for the Binding Run. Saturday at 8 is BVL MC. Went really smooth last time, just 1 hour 45 minutes and a great pot. Sunday at 12 is the second Nax roster. The first time we cleared was under 3 hours and was really proud of my team there. Tuesday at 8 we do AQ40 BVL Binding Run. Tuesday is popular as it is the last day before the reset. These are all weekly hosted at the same time, so unless I have an emergency. I promote people leveling alts as you can see if you're safe with one you can come on another character in my classic era raids this makes the player base bigger also let's say you want to start up your own community or raiding roster it can be really fun and it fills me with joy every day as i look forward to hosting the events now is actually a great time to start doing so i made lifelong friends through this that i can always count on if you want to learn how to do this i have put together a digital course it goes over every step so you can avoid all the pitfalls i had to go through doing this for the last four years the course has valuable information for any community you're trying to build and speeds up the growing process. Also for a limited time right now it comes with a one hour strategy call with yours truly where you can ask me any questions after going through the material and we'll talk about the goals for your community. Link is in the description. Now let's continue on to the Horde Classic Era player base. Currently I'm leveling a Horde char with a friend of mine so soon I'll be starting to host Blackwing Lair and Molten Core GDKP on Firemaw Classic Era servers very soon. If interested in that that will be in my GDKP Discord. We are doing it on Monday at 8. The sign up is already up. Let's go over the Horde guilds right now. Starting with Eyes Closed. They have a solid core, clearing next, which is hard to get into, and are building a second core, clearing next 3 out of 15 right now. Next to this, they host a GDKP pug on Thursdays, which is Blackwing Lair and Molten Core. Up next is the Gutter Guild. They raid Wednesday and Sunday at 8, till 11. They are clearing AQ40 and next on these days. Then we have Rendezvous, a French raiding guild that talks in English, so they welcome anyone on Classic Era. Monday and Thursday is their raiding time. Then we have G GMBH on the Horde player base. Raid days are the following. Thursday Nax, Saturday BVL MC as a pug, and Sunday AQ40 plus Blackwing Lair. Now on to the fun police. These seem like the topic on Horde with really fast clear times. Wednesday they raid AQ40, Blackwing Lair, Molten Core, and Onexia from 19.30 to 10, so that's pretty fast. Sunday they do Nax or Amas the same time. They are focused on speedruns, so if interested in reliving that experience in Classic Era, this will be the best fit on the Horde side. Now on to the player base for Pugs on Horde side. Demon Pugs. They host only GDKP variant. Blackwing Lair and Molten Core Thursdays at 8. AQ40 plus BVL Sunday at 16.30 afternoon raid. Next up is Neuro GDKP. They do two times BVLMC a week. One on Saturday at 7. The other on Sunday at 7. So if you like weekend raids, this is a good place to be. Then you have WCB Pug doing Blackwing Lair at 7 on Mondays. The biggest one is called Nax Pug. They host all in Sulfur Surf on Classic Era. They host Next Ramas at 20.30 on Fridays. Thursday, Blackwing Lair and Molten Core at 20.30 as well. Saturdays at 14.30, AQ40 afternoon rate. Mondays at 20.30 again. Second roster also next. This seems like the best bug option for next on whole player base right now. Hope this gets you an idea of the player base that is actually raiding. It is quite a lot, so come join us. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and check out this one.